Hello. It's so important to make your bedroom into a sanctuary. So today I'd like to show you, share with you some tips and tricks that I use to rejuvenate my bedroom. It's surprising how a new cup of paint, moving stuff around and some new curtains will change the energy in a room. So I hope that you will be able to use some of my tips and tricks to maybe rejuvenate your bedroom or any room in your house. So here we go. Okay, so this is what my bedroom looked like before. All the furniture was really brown, really old. It needed a makeover. I had no curtains and my bed was not centered. Now look at it. My bed looks like it's centered. The furniture is so much brighter. I have artwork on the walls and behind my bed. Okay, so I want to go back to the original bedroom. You see how I have one window on the right side that's off center? I had to fix that. So I put a curtain in the back of my bed so it looks like you get the illusion that my bed is centered. I can still open the curtain and see out the window. My other trick is if you're gonna buy lamps, buy lamps with USB ports. It takes away all of the wires. Here's my really big trick. This is actually a scarf that I've had for years and I turned it into a beautiful piece of art with these magnetized poster hangers. There you go, a scarf. It's amazing. So what you do is you just put the pieces of magnet board on the top with the string on it and then on the bottom and the bottom part weighs it down. Look, it just snaps together. And then the bottom just snaps together. This was only $25 on Amazon. Imagine all the pieces of art that you probably already have in your cabinets using this little tool. And this is another little trick that I did. I didn't have a chandelier, I don't have electricity right, right there, so I just hung something up. And it came all the way from Turkey. I used chalk paint again because it sticks to everything. And then I put satin clear on top of it to give it a glossy look. I painted all of my hardware because that color hardware in curtain rods is very expensive. And buying new hardware is very expensive. That is the color that I used. And to clear my bedroom up when, after I'm done with everything, I did a little smudging to make sure that the energy is pure and clean and positive. If you're really not into sage, you can use a lot of other materials for cleansing. Let's look at some sage fun facts. It, it, there's 900 species of sage. It's an anti-inflammatory and antioxidant, full of nutritional value, and it kills bacteria in the air. Native Americans always use it for rituals and cleansing. And we say smudging when we are using sage to energetically cleanse an area. And here's my crop of sage. I hope that you were able to use some of these tips and tricks to create more positive energy in your bedroom and in your house. If you liked my video, please feel free to subscribe or like, and I hope to see you soon. Have a fantastic day.